Hey guys, Josh Johnson here. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, I'm a service manager at a shop here in Greenville, South Carolina, Six Bay Auto Repair Shop. I wanted to take a minute and share an experience I had today with you guys. You've probably had something like this. It was one of those uh, cheapo customers that only comes in for the free service or the one where you make no money on them, then wants to act like they're doing you a favor. Yeah, it's pretty funny, so check this out. It's like 2.30, this guy walks into my shop and he says, what's the price for an oil change? A general question, so I said it's $45. He says, $45? I said, well, if you'd like to listen to our car care club, I can tell you how you can get four for free. No, 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 you're not going to sell me on that. So I said, okay, well, then it's $45. He then says, well, what kind of oil do you use? And I told him that we use a Chevron semi-synthetic blend, and he says, $45, and you don't even use Castrol? Well, it turns out there's a quick lube shop, or was a quick lube shop, right next to mine that has by no accident just recently gone out of business. Apparently they were a lot cheaper than us and he had been taking his car there and he expected me to give him the same prices as they were giving him. Well, I'm not kidding you when I told him that we were $45, this was his response. Well, if you guys were cheaper, you could get more of my business. I have three cars, but I'm cheap. What? Are you kidding me? You just told me you're cheap. Why in God's green earth would I want any of your business? You, you've had customers like this. They're nothing but a headache. They always want to argue with you about every price you give them, no matter what it is. They never refer anybody to you, and if they did, it's probably somebody just like him who's going to be a pain in the neck. They're always price shopping you. They do nothing but waste your time. So, I'm a professional, so I wasn't, you know, up front with him, but I did say, sir, I don't think that I'm the right shop for you. You're going to do nothing but waste my time, and honestly, you don't want to bring your car to me because you just told me you're cheap and I'm expensive. So, I let him go down the way, and he, I didn't think about him much after that, and I guess it stood out to me so much because that morning, I had the exact opposite. I had this guy, Mr. Morningstar, who is literally one of those ideal clients. The kind where when he signs the paperwork, he hands you the money, he walks out the door, you go, I wish I had 100 more customers like him. I mean, sometimes I've said I wish I had 10 more customers like him. I mean, he comes in this morning, he comes in every three months, and his car only needed two services because we've literally done everything else. And I said, hey, Mr. Morningstar, we need to replace your fuel filter and do a brake fluid flush. His only question is, when will it be done? Come on. He comes in every three months. He is always super thankful. He gives us fantastic reviews. He pays his bills right away. And the people he refers to me are clients just like him. They're awesome people. So now that's a fantastic story, and that's great to kind of see the two. But how do we get more Mr. Morningstars and get rid of Mr. Cheapo? Well, I've actually kind of figured that out. It used to be that I'd hire the local ad rep that came by for Valpec or Yellow Pages or whatever it was, the social media guys that are out like crazy now. And nine times out of 10, they'd sell me on this spiel where if you just sign up with, you know, if you get two calls a week, imagine how much money that's gonna produce and yada, 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 and I, whatever. So I, just to sign up with them to get them out of the door, and it would turn out that it wouldn't give me a big fat zero. I got nothing with them, or worse, more of those cheap customers. So. I've actually taken the time and with a mentor figured out how to pick out those Mr. Morningstars. If you want to figure out how to get more Morningstar customers to your shop and get rid of Mr. Cheapo, I've put together a video series for you. I only have so much time and can't get into it on this video, but put your name and email address in the box below and I'll share with you this four part, very quick, short video series that'll walk you through how to figure out who are the Mr. Morningstars in your area how to get them to come to your shop and how to get them to tell their friends to bring them back to your shop and literally repel Mr. Cheapo. You don't have time to deal with him. So put your name and email address right below. I'll give you all that information. You'll see the videos on the next page and that'll be that. All right, name and email address right below. See you on the other side.